Hey, what's up? It's me, Trogo Pro. We are going to do Windows 10 cloning today. Even other versions of Windows, like 7 and 8, you can do that one. But why do we do cloning? Well, you might be changing your hard drive to another hard drive, or maybe you're going to upgrade your HDD into SSD, wherein we know that SSD is far way better than your HDD. If you're going to change that one, then you need to reinstall Windows 10 to the new SSD you have, reinstall all the softwares you're using, transfer the files that you need there. So it's going to do some work for you to set up the new SSD after installing Windows 10. Now here comes our cloning wherein we create a duplicate copy of the current system we have to the SSD and after cloning that one, we can go ahead, use our SSD with all the settings, the files, the softwares already installed for us. So that's the beauty of using cloning. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do cloning. I'm just going to simulate some of the setup you might do before doing the cloning so that you prepare for it. You can do it on a computer or a PC and you can do it also on your laptop. But there are a few things you're going to need. Now let's go and do it. I'll show you the setup on my laptop before I clone it. I have a docking station that's Wavelink. We can connect it to our laptop via USB. We can get that SSD, plug it here, it should pop in our laptop, and then we can fire up that software we're going to use, but I'm going to introduce it to you later on. If you didn't have a docking station, you can also use the SATA to USB converter. Now I want to show you how you can also prepare a PC for cloning. So here's a sample PC, we're not going to use this one, I just want to show you how you can set it up get that SSD, you need to have a SATA cable, you connect that one, and then grab the power from that PC, plug it to our SSD, then you can mount this one inside our PC. You locate how you're going to do that one. If you have this version of SSD, you can buy SSD to SATA converter, but some computers or laptops support this type of SSD so you better check it out you might not need to get that SATA to SSD converter let's go back to my laptop and install the software we're going to use I have already plugged in that SSD this is our laptop open your browser you can see the link on the description below click that one this is the software Macrium software you have a free edition click that one put in your email address Click continue and it's up to you. What do you select here? I would go for no thank you and continue. Close. We should receive an email. So I'll check my email. And we have email from Macrium software click that we need to download and we have uh, that code so click the link it will redirect us here we should be able to download the agent software something we can use to download the real software so that will take not long Now that it's done, you can click here. You can show in folder. I'd rather go and open it to install, run. Then we get to download the software. This is a download agent from Macrium. Let's wait for this one to complete. And we are going to install the software. There you go. Next, accept. This will be for home use. Next. And then we need to put in our email address and then the code that was sent to us in email. Paste that one and then next. Next. And 
and install. This will be quick. Don't worry, it will not take 10 minutes. Oh, there it's done. Launch. Launch it. There you go. Okay. So it detected my first hard drive. So that's the hard drive of my laptop. And it is not showing us the hard drive that is connected via our um, docking station. So we're going to locate that one. On the search bar, you type in computer management. Click that. And then this will come up. Open up the storage. You will have disk management. Double click that one. And then uh, there you have it. So this one this zero is our original one a uh, disk one is the disk that we plug in our uh, computer management so it seems like it's not detecting so i'm just going to close the software and open it again so here we have it now we are going to go for that clone part so click on clone and then it will ask us to select a disk that we're going to use so select a disk, it will show up the available disk. We select that one and we will drag all the partitions that are coming from our original drive. Keep dragging them. And you can see we have a larger disk, so we have a free space. Let's just go ahead and press next. This is the part where you can set a schedule if you want to because the cloning is going to take a long time. But for us, we're not going to set the schedule because we're going to do it right now next and then this will be a quick summary of what's going to happen so i'll just go and finish and it will start now the cloning part it will take time and it depends on the size of your system for me it's around 300 gigabyte i guess so um i kind of fast forward some of the footage here and I also post my recording uh, when it went to that uh, fifth step so if you can see this is on the fifth step and I'm just going to post it here come back later on if it's done okay it's done and it took around it says 29 minutes okay and then we go check it uh, that's the summary of what happened this is the disk that's cloned these are all the files this is also the logs so you can scroll down check everything here um let's go to this this is the original disk we have disk c and disk d as you can see they are identical 32.2 gig free out of 237 so they are cloned now the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to reboot this laptop and try to start the OS from the cloned version let's do it so this is the SSD we have it's plugged into our computer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart our computer and then uh, we should be able to boot use this one as our hard drive so that's what we're going to do so I'll go ahead restart our computer power settings restart you need to know the boot menu key for me the boot menu key is my f11 so keep pressing on that f11 i'll be pressing on the f11 make sure to boot on that device so so there you go we went on to the boot menu and this is the original um hard drive i have now i'm going to select this one this is where uh the clone os is. so i'm going to click this one and we should be able to boot into that os there you go it's booting up and there you go it booted up so that's how you do it my friends and you should be able to clone your device that's my it's a Rogue pro okay that's the device we have there amigo <laughs> so we're good to go my friends hey and if it's your first time in my YouTube channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Click the notification bell to get notified with our new uploads. And you help me make a dream of 100,000 subscribers. Like, share, comment down below if you want to. So once again, this is me, Torgy Pro, and I hope to see you in my next video. Ba -ba -ba.